Hello, I am Niveta and this is a video on how to interface 16 x 2 LCD with AVR Atmeha 328P or Arduino Uno. In this video, I will not be using any predefined functions of the Arduino library and I will be programming the AVR microcontroller with embedded C. If you are new to this kind of programming, then I suggest that you see my previous tutorials on AVR programming. In this video, I will be using Tinkercad only to explain the circuit since my code does not work on Tinkercad. However, I will be showing a practical demonstration of the working of the code by flashing it into an actual microcontroller. Let me first explain about the 16 x 2 LCD. The 16 x 2 LCD has 16 columns and 2 rows, so 32 characters can be displayed at a time. And the LCD also has a microcontroller, so the Atmeha 328P and LCD will communicate through master-slave communication. Atmeha 328 will be the master and the LCD microcontroller will be the slave. So the operations of the slave are controlled by the master. There are 16 pins in the LCD. The first pin is the ground which should be connected to the ground of the master that is at Meha 328 and VCC should be connected to supply which can be 5 volt and third is the contrast adjustment so it can be connected to ground for maximum contrast or if you want to adjust the contrast it has to be connected to a potentiometer and the contrast can be adjusted by varying the resistance of the potentiometer the next three pins are known as control pins RS stands for register select so if 0 is given to it, then it interprets the data coming in as command and if 1 is given, then it interprets the data as data. And R bar W is read or write. So if 0 is given to this, then the data from the LCD will be read and if 1 is given, data will be returned to the LCD. And EN is the enable pin. A H triggered signal has to be given to this pin. And it has to be negative edge triggered, so it has to go from high to low. The next 8 pins are known as data pins. Each byte has 8 bits and there is a pin for each bit and it will transmit 1 bit. Since all the bits are getting transmitted at the same time, it is set to follow parallel communication. And this ANK stands for anode and cathode of the backlight LED. So A has to be connected to the positive of the supply and K to the negative but through a resistance. Now let me explain the circuit through Tinkercad. So this is the ground pin which, is which has been connected to the ground. And this is the supply which is connected to the supply. And this is the contract contrast adjustment pin which has been connected to a potentiometer. The fourth pin is register select that decides whether the data coming from the master microcontroller is data or command. So this has been connected to one of the port pins. So to determine which pin this is we have to see the pin mapping. I have connected it to digital pin 9. So digital pin 9 is port B pin 1. And the next is read or write pin. Since we are always going to be writing to the LCD according to the program, I have directly connected it to ground. So it will always be 0. And next is the enable pin and I have connected it to digital pin 8. So if we see the pin mapping, it would be PB0. And the next 8 data pins are connected to port D. So how I am saying it as port D is, I have connected it to digital pin from digital pin 0 to digital pin 7 so digital pin 0 to 7 is port D PD0 to PD7 and, and the anode has been connected to the supply through a resistor and cathode has been connected to ground so if the AVR has to communicate to the LCD it can be done only through a few pins register select, enable and the data pins which are connected to port D. The AVR can send one byte of data 
to LCD through port D. So that byte of data can be of two types. It can either be a command that instructs the LCD to do a particular task or it can be a data that has to be printed on the LCD screen. So first, the AVR microcontroller should inform the LCD whether the one byte of data that it is sending through port D is command or data. For that, the register select pin is used. If the digital pin here, which is digital pin 9 and it is PB1, if PB1 is made 0, then the byte of data that goes through port D is a command. Or if PB1 is made as 1, then the byte that is going through port D is data. So 0 is for command and 1 is for data. Since the ASCII value of each character that is each alphabet or symbol is one byte long, the ASCII value will be transmitted through port D and the character will be displayed on the LCD. So I have explained the command codes here. 0x38 so 0x38 if it is sent through port D then it will configure the LCD in 8 bit mode there are two types 8 bit mode and 4 bit mode and it would have two lines that is characters can be printed on both rows of the LCD and each character will be a 5 cross 7 dot matrix and if 0x0c is sent then this plate will be turned on but the cursor would be off and if 0x0e is sent display will be on and the cursor also will be on that is you will be able to see the cursor okay and 0x10 will clear screen and 0x80 will place the cursor on the first row of the lcd and 0xc0 will place the cursor on the second row of the lcd this is the procedure for giving a command or a data so if I have to give a command, then I will first give the command code to port D. For example, if I have to clear the contents of the LCD, I will give port D equal to 0x01. Then I would be calling the function command enable. So inside the function, I would first make register select pin to 0. So it is connected to port D, port B pin 1. So here I am making port B pin 1 as 0. Then the step would be to make the pin R bar W to 0. Since I have connected this to ground, I have not given anything here. And then would be to give a negative edge trigger signal to enable. So that is what I am giving here. First port B pin 0 which is connected to enable is made 1. And then port B pin 0 is made 0. And then there is a 10 millisecond delay between the two commands. This 10 millisecond delay is for the transfer of the command code from port D to LCD. So that one byte of data will get transferred from port D and it would be read by the LCD in that 10 millisecond delay. And if I have to give a data then I would give port D equal to whatever the data that I need to give. So it could be A for example and it should be given in quotes. So port D equal to A and then I would call the function data enable. So inside the function I would first be making register select 1. So port B pin 1 is made 1. Then this, ha this pin has been grounded so it is always 0. And then I would make port B pin 0 as 1 and then give a 10 millisecond delay for the data to be read by the LCD and then I would make it 0. So after this A would be printed on the LCD. So let me explain the code now. Hash include avr slash io dot h is to include the input output library of avr and hash include util slash delay dot h is for the delay functions and I have declared two functions command enable and data enable. So command enable is for giving command and data enable is for giving data. I have explained these functions previously. And in the main function, I am first making port D as output port by giving the direction register 0xff. If you are new to AVR programming and if you don't understand the code, then I suggest that you see my previous videos on tutorial on programming at Meha 328p blink LED and 
reading from or writing to individual pins of AVR microcontrollers. There I would have explained what each of these lines of code mean and so I've made port D as output. The next step is to make port B pin 0 which is connected to enable pin of LCD as output. So that I've done here and the next step is to make port B pin 1 which is connected to register select as output. So now I'm giving port D 0x38. So according to this zero x three eight will configure the LCD in eight bit mode two lines and five cross seven dot matrix. The next line is I have given port D zero x zero E. So zero x zero E will turn on the LCD and cursor will be displayed. Then I've called command enable. And then I've given zero x zero one. So zero x zero one will clear the previous data whatever is the there in the LCD and then I have again called the function command enable and then I have given 0x80 so 0x80 will place the cursor on first row first column and then I have again called the function command enable and then I have given port D equal to A so the quotes denote that A is a character and the ASCII value of A will be sent to port D. And then I have called the function data enable since it is a data. And then I have given while of 1 so that only A will be displayed and then return 0. So I have taken a video by flashing the code. So here cursor is displayed and first row first column is chosen so let me show the video so this is the code 0x0e cursor displayed and 0x80 first row first column is chosen so I am flashing the software here you can see A is displayed on the first row and first column and the cursor is being displayed so next we can modify the code so that LCD is on but the cursor is not displayed and instead of first row first column second row first column is chosen Let's see what happens when this code is flashed so 0x0c LCD on cursor not displayed and 0xz0 second row first column so when this is flashed you can see that A is being displayed on the second row first column and no cursor is seen And the next code is where I print my name on the LCD. So I've initialized it as a 7 cross 5 matrix and I and the LCD is on, cursor is displayed. The previous data is cleared. And the first row, first column is chosen. And here, here I've declared an unsigned character array name which has the letters of my character unsigned because all ASCII values are positive and I've declared a variable i and there is a for loop so first i will be 0 and if i is less than 7 it will enter this part this portion 
so when i is 0 port d will have n and data enable function is called so n will be printed on the lcd next i will get incremented to 1 so when i is 1 i will be sent to port d and i will be printed on the lcd after the function is called and similarly all the other letters will be printed so let us see the video where this code is being flashed so niveta is there and the for loop I am flashing the code to the AVR controller. And here you can see Niveta is printed. So that's it. Thank you. If you found the video helpful, please click the like button. And for more such videos, please subscribe. Thank you.